Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and the Sardella card reading for November 20th, 2020. So today we have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. What do you want when it comes to relationships? Whether you're sitting there going, ah, humbug on love. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with love. Or if you say, well, I'm looking for love, but you have the sense of desperation behind it. Or maybe you're in a relationship, but things have been a little questionable. Or you feel like you're on the fast track, right? <laughs> in a relationship, whatever your situation is, it's time for a refresh. It's time for a refresh on your perspective. So if you're somebody who's been alone for a long time, you know, I talk about this all the time, but we, ha we are in a society that says there's something wrong with you if you're single. And for some people who have learned to embrace that, you know that that is the most crucial time to get to know yourself and to grow and develop and to realize what you want and what you won't accept. And, you know, you refuse to just go into a toxic dynamic just because, right? So if you're somebody who has been alone for a while and you're starting to feel that desperation to be with somebody, this might be a shift in your perspective where you realize, no, this is, this is a time of growth for me. And that is your new romantic cycle because you're taking this new energy with it, right? So now you might take some time, but eventually a partner comes in. Yes, that's a better match for you than where you were before. If you're coupled, this can be you opening up and communicating with your partner, maybe discovering what's right for your relationship. All right, so there's a lot of shifting around love, <laughs> okay? Let's see what the Cabochons say here. <laughs> we have Angel, speak, speak your truth, speak up in a relation, oh my God, <laughs> speak your truth, there it is, wow. And your angel can definitely, your guardian angel, if you wanna see it that way, can definitely help you figure out what your truth is before you speak up. See, a lot of times we wanna blame other people for what we're experiencing, you know, we're not having compassion for the other person's point of view, you know, this sort of thing. So make sure you're going within, connect with your spiritual team, understand what it is that you want, and then communicate that, speak your truth. And for some of us, that is speaking our truth to the universe. All right, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.